children being treated for cancer in Springfield can thank Longmeadow mom June LaDuke for brightening their lives during their long and difficult treatment. 22 News reporter Cy Becker shows us just why the Pioneer Valley Red Cross has chosen LaDuke as a hometown hero. June LaDuke's son Curtis was 10 years old when he began his cancer treatments almost four years ago at the Sadowski Treatment Center at Bay State Medical Center's Demore Center for Cancer Care. When June saw how difficult it was for the children during chemotherapy, she helped get them a TV, computers, video games. It was a different kind of medicine that sent their spirits soaring. Within five minutes after hooking it up and connecting it, the kids were interacting, they were laughing, they were working together, they were introducing themselves to each other. I knew that I could make a difference and that I finally found something that I could help in the healing of these children. Pediatric nurse Lisa Martinson has become June's biggest booster in our hometown heroes crusade to help the children take their minds off their problems. She donated a beautiful computer and they can sit on that and go online and chat with their friends while they're here. It takes their mind off of what they're going through. And June LaDuke's not finished yet. An aquarium for the kids, that's next. She believes this playful atmosphere is just as rewarding for the children and as healing as the medication they get to fight their cancers. June reflects on her own son's battle against cancer. It, it has its, every, every challenge has its gifts. Um, my son is healthy. My son is going to be healthy. My son is going to recover. 22 News is happy to report that June LaDuke's son is scheduled to go into remission on March the 18th. This is Cy Becker for 22 News. LaDuke, along with eight other Pioneer Valley Red Cross hometown heroes, will be saluted at the Heroes Breakfast this Thursday morning at the Mass Mutual Center in downtown Springfield.